Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the morning show. Good morning, Andy. Good morning, Bart. How are you today? I am very well, thank you. Nice. 40 degrees in Jackson. It should be a very nice day with partly sunny skies, and I have 47 which is uh, nearly 10 degrees mm. above normal. It's uh, elevated my mood. Last night it was uh, nice and mild too. Mm -hmm. I, along with uh, T. Gerwick and our own Adam Braggenzer, went to Night Lights. Oh, neat. We'll have that segment for you uh, next week. Adam got to ride the train all by himself. It oh, was fun. so cool. Yeah. yeah, so if you uh, haven't had a chance, please uh, <laughs> book the Night Lights Express. It's awesome. We had an opportunity to go check it out last night nice. and it is very, very cool. So. Adam riding in the train by himself, his choice or someone else's? His choice. Okay. <laughs> his choice. I would have, I would have ridden with him, but um, as you know, I had a, a little head cold and I didn't want to make that any worse. So I let Adam ride by himself. And you he feeling told better? Him, I'm feeling great. Dishwasher fixed? No, I didn't have time because I was out at night lights. Oh. So, you know, I think we're going to wash the dishes by hand until the first <laughs> of the year. Um, well, we're not going to be using our bathroom for a while. Oh my God, I heard about that. <laughs> I mean, this is just the Holly family's on one mm -hmm. the last couple of weeks, so. A bat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I wasn't here to help with that, so uh, thank you for not calling me so early to help with a bat. In the past, bats have, uh, we've seen them in like day or night. Yeah, this do you was a morning <clears throat> bat. Are you familiar with, I believe it's the North Mansion on Stonewall? Yes. Okay. Uh, some friends of mine uh, growing up were friends with the owners of that house, mm -hmm. uh, the Olinux, oh. you might remember. Yes. And Lucas and I went over there many, many times to, with tennis rackets to try and get bats out of that house for his mother's friend who lived oh, there nice. who was afraid of bats. So um, that's my bat story. Everyone's afraid of bats. Yeah, everyone is. So uh, you get a chance to um, go to Night Lights tonight. Also, you could go to... Lights of Love, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that's happening at the hospital, and it's sponsored by American One Credit Union and True Community Credit Union. It starts at six o'clock, nice ceremony to honor those with uh, light. Uh, people have uh, remembered their loved ones with mm -hmm. lights that will glow throughout the holiday season. I'll so, be there. Mm -hmm. I will be there, and I believe it starts at six o'clock, correct? I'll be there as well. Wonderful, yes. wonderful. I'll be in gym clothes. I hope that's okay. We'll be coming <laughs> from basketball practice. That's fine. That's okay, good. Also today, it's Pearl Harbor Day, as we remember Pearl Harbor. In uh, 1941, December 7th, uh, Japanese bombers descended on uh, Pearl Harbor, a surprise Sunday morning attack. 28 Michigan uh, service people were killed in mm. the attack, and they are remembered with USS Arizona, the Michigan, State of Michigan Memorial uh, of USS Arizona. And that ceremony will be at one o'clock today. It's at the Cascades in the Memorial area. Very good. Just off High Street at Denton. So one o'clock, all are welcome for a short ceremony. Hey, how about Braden Lape? The kid did it again. Yes, Braden is headed to the finale of NBC's The Voice, uh, not a surprise to me. And no. I think, you know, the way NBC did it, um, they, uh, Carson Daly said, we're going to now uh, reveal the names uh, throughout the show of the uh, four, four uh, finalists, plus the fifth person by an instant save. So Braden was fourth out of the four, and I think NBC did it on purpose because they know he's a big draw. For of Raiders. course. So they waited till the last possible minute. He was announced halfway through the show. And he, along with Bryce Leatherwood, uh, Morgan Miles, Bodie, and Bodie and Bryce are also on Team Blake. And Bodie sang with, uh, didn't they sing together last night? Uh, no, oh. Monday night. See, that's why, yeah. yeah, I shouldn't even try and say Omar, anything. Omar, Jose Cardano, the person uh, with the instant save. So five will compete for the championship. The winner of The Voice gets that title plus $100,000 and a recording contract with Universal Music Group. Yes, yeah, so, you know, and I think even if uh, Braden doesn't win, he'll still, he'll still be able to get that 100K and a record deal. No, I'm I think he's going to, uh, he's going to do it, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very cool. Good luck. Exciting. So that finals, that'll be next week, correct? Yeah, Monday. Awesome. It's a two-hour live finale part one, <clears throat> and then on Tuesday, the live finale part two. Two. Very good. So when all the confetti will drop, um, filling 
Oh, Ravens I hope he wins. Here. I hope, I hope he, wins. he wins. That would too. be we so cool. We all hope cool. he wins. So cool. So remember, next Monday, uh, vote during the show and after the show. Vote, vote for Braden. And I think he's been getting. I bet I would not be surprised if he's been the top vote getter. I, I think he's probably is. I mean, from what I can tell, he is. Uh, he's kind of the heartthrob of the show. So, mm -hmm. uh, hope he wins. That'd be awesome. Yeah, last week we were talking about, uh, well, all month we talk about uh, charity giving back. Last week we were talking about Stuff a Cop Car that happened last weekend. I wanted to show you a few pics from Stuff a Cop Car. We had, uh, there was a lot, a lot of food donated um, from Pol or at Polly's, and that was last weekend. These are the uh, sheriff's deputies that helped out. And uh, they stuffed more than one car. They had to bring a second car. And uh, look at this pile of food. Well, a cop car has so much equipment in it to begin with. Look at that. So. Look at all that food. Wow. Look at all that food. So going to families that need it around the holidays. And uh, it's good stuff. That's great. Columbia Chief uh, Jay Niles and uh, his uh, group, his charity, um, also collected money Saturday. Yeah at uh, Eagle's Nest and John LaFear and Jay Niles and uh, uh, Blair Huff all participating in that. Yeah, so next week actually they are going to um, get a police escort on the bus from uh, I think Brooklyn to Walmart and do some shopping for some kids, mm -hmm. so that'll be cool as well. They should take John LaFear's luxury coach. I think they <laughs> might. I think they yes. might do that. No, I think they're meeting a school bus at uh, Walmart, and uh, they're going to shop with a cop, so it's very cool. We still here at JTV, we have our two collection boxes, one for Toys mm -hmm. for Tots, and then the other one for the... Uh, Hats, coats, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, we're working with uh, McKibben Media Group and a lot of other sponsors, mm -hmm. Harvest Solar, uh, Trips Collision, to collect coats and hats uh, for for people during this, during this time of need and uh, make their burden a little less heavy. So we are collecting stuff. Feel free to drop that off. We would love to uh, donate as much as we can. Uh, later this week, might get a little bit of snow. So just a, a reminder of your uh, windshield scraper. Do you know what? In Washington State on Sunday, mm. a state trooper issued a $533 ticket to a driver who was going she drove more than five miles with her car like this. I've done that. Yes. With my head out the window. She said, I couldn't find my uh, thing. What's worse, if you can't get that off to see the road or if you're a cigarette smoker and you can't get the window down? <laughs> what's worse? I don't know what's worse. I always think of Dumb and Dumber where uh, Jim Carrey's driving with his head out the window. That's right. But... Uh, I That's think everyone my, in Michigan has done something like this a little bit. Yeah, it's one of my pet peeves when I see people just scrape a little, like, a uh, head-sized hole uh, on the windshield <laughs> so they can see. It's not, it's not safe. No. So hopefully that. But everyone's, everyone's done something like that, I believe, at least once. To try Have you ever used uh, something other than a CD. Nice the CD case, <laughs> right? CD case, that's yeah. a classic. CD case or the CD itself. The CD itself, yeah, so yeah that's for sure. I've used my hand. Uh, yeah, uh, never never do I have a ice scraper when I need one. Mm -hmm. I've seen a woman using the bottom of her high heel. I've seen that as well. <laughs> I've seen that as well. Um, Shouldn't have been wearing high heels out in the snow in the first place, but it works. It worked. Apparently yeah. it worked. Hey, let me tell you about uh, the Northwest Mounties, the Mini Mountie Megabots. Have you ever heard of such a thing? Is it a wrestling? No, it's not a wrestling, <laughs> um, but they are competing in the state competition at Mason. Oh, uh, robotics. robotics. Yeah, robotics. robotics. Yeah. Yeah. This is the photo that Noah had told me that I sent him twice. I, he said, <laughs> you sent it to me twice. <laughs> there it is. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh, they are many. They Could, are many. Can someone tell me what the deal is with Mason and robotics, why they host every single state competition in the state? I don't know what the deal is. Um, so yeah, they and they also took home first place uh, for the Core Values Award. So congratulations to the Minty, Mini Mountie Megabots. Hmm. That's cool. Nice. Very cool. Uh, we are, uh, you are excited about the JTV annual Christmas party. So excited. This Friday. Why? More so this year than other years? No, I just, you know, I think it's, it'll be nice for us all to uh, be together to celebrate. And uh, it's a Friday night, so no one has to work the next day. So I'm really happy for the staff. 
Braden, uh, Braden. <laughs> Braden Lape, is he coming to our party? Braden's going to be there. Jeez. We have hired Braden Lape to sing, and that will be in lieu of Christmas gifts right. for the staff this he, year. He so. agreed to do one song, one song. No, I got an argument with Brandon yesterday <laughs> as to what day of the week our Christmas party was on last year. I said it was a Thursday. He said it was a Friday. Really? Remember? I had, I had such a good time. It was a Thursday. It's it always Friday. 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 It's yeah. always Friday. No, All right. it was a Thursday. Well, Brandon has history of incidents at the Christmas party, ah. so there's one more. There's yeah. one, one more. There's always, always one more. Let's get to our scoreboard for Extreme Dodge. Thank you to our friends over at Extreme Dodge for helping us bring you the scoreboard both on TV and online every day. And thanks to Jeff Steers for putting the scoreboard together. Let's get to girls basketball. Napoleon, they beat Concord 48-29. Congratulations to coach Troy Fairbanks and the Pirates. And then it was Western 60, Grass Lake 45. And Northwest 48, Mason 24, Jackson 47, Lansing Eastern 37. Over in boys basketball, Adrian took care of Grass Lake, Battle Creek knocked off Jackson, Springport fell to Leslie, Vandercook Lake over Summerfield, and then Chelsea with a very, very big win over Western by 25. Again, it's early in the year. Uh, let's see what's happening tonight on deck tonight. Boys basketball, Napoleon at Columbia Central. That should be a pretty good game. And then Onstead at Hanover Horton. Another really good game. Good basketball tonight. Girls wow. basketball, Jackson Christian at Waldron. And then we've got some wrestling, bowling. And then Jackson United will host Lenaway United over at Optimist at 5.30 tonight. So tons of things to do. Northwest at Pa Pa Quad. I went to school with Pa Pa Quad. Really? <laughs> I'll be darned. Today's show being brought to you by Vermeulen's <laughs> Home Furnishings. New furniture for Christmas? Why not? Vermeulen's over uh, 75 years, three generations, serving our community with quiet quality furniture, uh, incredible design service, and uh, awesome service to the community thanks to Vermeulen's. Who's on the show today? Today we've got a great show. We're going to get things started with Tim Rogers, who's the CEO of the Enterprise Group, right after this break. 